these two are going to play against each other, and then they play the victor. Granted, they have to win that one game immediately, or there's no chance for them to uh, to uh, go through. Then uh, they already lost. Whereas if you lose here, it's still possible that they repeat the tie. And I, I think I'm going to double check that. You know, we would have to clean up the tie as well. I don't think it goes on any timer. I'm looking up the rules right now. You can uh, you yeah. can uh, tell us where where we're at. Oh yeah, yep. They don't end up smoking to get out to this river again. This is uh, a bit clear, strange. We have been seeing more and more made, teams using that to get the clear, advantage, get out there a little bit faster, and place wards without them getting dewarded. But not uh, not value for either of these teams right now, apparently. But they will get the wards up, hide over in the tree line. Thirty seconds to battle. And see how serious everybody looks on these player cams. It's do or die. I'm sure somewhere Slax is watching this and he's very excited. He loves elimination matches. Yeah, it, it seems from what I'm understanding that the, the rules seem to say that for elimination we will continue until it's resolved. I don't think there's any like time rules or anything like that. Okay. Nothing silly. So there's no extra incentive for going push strat or anything like that. Um, yeah, that used to be one of the old rules, right? Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, God. Yeah. But uh, no, I believe, I believe that we're actually just, you know, if, if there's a, a three-way tie again, then they have to uh, just keep going. But it's best of one here, so it's not a full best of, uh, best of two series that we're seeing or best of three series. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. One having a very nice block here in this mid lane. It's going to meet fairly close, though. So which lane... Are you thinking needs to be watched the closest? Uh, I would keep an eye on your posh and see if he can get an edge over the DP mid. It's not necessarily an easy matchup, but I also know that he can work wonders on his Konka. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that mid matchup can go. Meanwhile, though, the sidelines are also very high contested. Top are fighting already. Yeah, FBZ sitting a little bit low here from the amount of harass. And this is what I would expect to see from a Marcy Templar Assassin lane, right? Because you've got that rebound picked up. And then, of course, you are has that point in Meld. And Meld feels like it lasts a decent amount of time. But the harass here in the bottom lane, we're seeing that MSS is forced back. And it's just a slugfest. And each of these lanes is people are going to have to just regen and continue to just get the CS Oh, that's a nice little cancel there over on uh, MSS. But yeah, there's there's certainly going to be a lot of battling, and Tim's with this disruptor is going to be happy to lay in the harass over on the Broodmother. But meanwhile, same thing, we can see it from uh, from MSS. Top lane, double melee lane against TA means that you might need to get creative with pulls because she should be doing fairly well here. Uh, Melt Strike is certainly a great tool to have against uh, the Brewmaster here, as well as them dying. Yeah, both of these li lanes are just insane when you consider the fact you've got so much harass coming out in the bottom lane with Jackie and Tim's, and then the top lane, uh, you know, again, you've got UR and Fata, you've got a TA, you've got a Marcy. Like, these are not easy lanes to play. No, certainly not. And, uh, I mean, mid, so far, neck and neck even as well. 10 and 1 versus 10 and 1. The CSing is very close as well. So competitive all across the board here. Quinn with a slight advantage, they still have some creeps to kill here, but the CS is identical. Water runes are up, so we'll see the mid laners go snap them up for themselves. You have the bottle over on Quinn, and of course over on Yopash. And then just throw out a little bit of harass, use up some of that mana, and then grab up the water rune. Yeah, he's gonna heal up fine. Not taking too much damage. Both teams getting off some pulls as well, so small camps are not blocked for either team. So either of them can rely on that to try and get the lanes back a little bit. Yeah, War's HP is so low. He's trying to get himself some regen, but his courier is just going base right now. Infada. Well, he has a salve ready. He can't really salve him. Yeah, it's gonna that's take not immediate really... damage. <laughs> really value here, so. We'll see, though. It does have the refraction, which is very useful. We do get the rebound over onto FBZ. Get the dispose. Yeah, they need a little bit more damage. You are, though. He's ticking down. Doesn't seem like he wants to do it. And again, the meld 
It looks very good, but when you're already sitting this low, you just have to be too careful that you're not going to, to overextend. Don't want to yeah. lose this lane. Yeah, he's healing up again on FPC, just tangoing up. And they are ready, by the way. Boom are ready if they get a single kill, they get urn charges. Because he rushed that urn on Brewmaster oh. very fast. So if you die a single time on this lane, then the lane becomes nearly unplayable. Because then the urn charge is going to make uh, refraction useless and the damage output will be very high. Four minute water runes have spawned. Should be an even split. No supports coming to contest those just yet. Get a little bit of a bushwhack in the bottom lane over onto Jackie, but they have to respect the fact that this is a bristleback. This is not an easy kill. Soon, bristleback has Vanguard, and then he can be left alone here, though. And uh, Tim's potentially could make a move towards top the moment the Vanguard is completed. Dying. Quinn just continuing to use... Oh, they fortify here. Yeah, fortifying, no damage dragging. taken from mine. Spirit Siphons are doing a lot of work over here in Yopaj. Does have a couple of those bottle charges, though, and a fairy farm in case they overextend, but the MSS wandering through the river. Possibly trying to go and get a stack. Yeah, he's trying to prepare. He's not going to be in time to get the Ancient stack as well, though, and he has a TA in his team, so it would have been nice for him if he was there just slightly earlier. Meanwhile, though, Fada also stacking up jungle, so both the supports of uh, Sonics preparing a little bit. Fata making his way over, realizing Yopaj is sitting quite low. Does have a salve, though. So he's gonna regen back up. Oh, Glimpse coming back. Now the Glimpse back over on MSS. This is not looking. He's gonna try to teleport away to the tower. Uh, oh, look that's at that far at away, though. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, that was a slow TP too. His broodmother already TP'd, I think. Oh boy, that that feels so bad. You saw Jackie just like, what? Really? Okay, I'll just walk over here and wait for you. <laughs> now he's got to go, and he's got to make the walk of shame back. Oh, he just took like two steps over, stood there, and waited for a TP to finish. That felt so bad for MSS. Sometimes now the power runes are spawning. Radiant contesting with two supports. And Fata coming to his top lane. He's gonna meet up with Skem. It's gonna be towards the bottom though, and it's gonna be a haste picked up by Yopaj. That's a good rune no too. Rune. He has the bolt ready, so if he sees a chance to TP to the other lanes, he will definitely take it. He pings top. He's thinking about top. He wants to go TA. Yeah, there's gonna be the Mel Strike it over onto FBZ, but here comes Yopaj. Zexo here. You are. He is not looking like he's gonna survive this, and no, he won't. A nice gank play here from Yopaj, and thanks to this haste rune, just gonna run right back over to the mid lane. However, there are multiple people here. Asfata is waiting nearby. They drop the ward, and uh, MSS hiding in the tree line. They ping out. They see Yopaj. Exorcism's gonna get used. MSS waiting patiently, looking for the bushwhack. No, it's gonna be the rebound. There's going to be some teleports coming out now from the side of Boom. They want to punish them for this bit of a dive. Here is Quinn now. He's going to turn back around. X marks the spot into the boat. Quinn popping the fairy fire. It's a lot of damage, though, and it's just too much. We'll end up overwhelming Glimpse him. Is there. Now MSS trying to run away. The glimpse right back over into the arms of Yopach, into the arms of Scab. He's got the acorn shot, so Tim's is going to have to be the one who delivers the killing blow. Yeah, he just whacked him with his hammer. Get the melee hit from Disruptor. Right in the face, but yeah, that's a very good reaction to the siege coming out from Sonics. And Sonics, not much going right for them right now as they lose the first exorcism without really bringing down a single tower. Did some damage to it, but the reaction was very good by um, by Boom overall. Their positioning and the patience by Disruptor as well. That kinetic field over onto Les Lau. He's just going to use that insatiable hunger to just go and get some of this HP back, but just have to be careful again. Not a lot of mana left on Jackie, but still have to be careful. Yeah, they're farming up some jungle stacks now on the uh, side of Sonics. They are kind of taking the back foot. They're stacking up the Ancients, preparing a little bit, but overall, Boom are in control of every single lane right now. Mid lane is going completely fine for them. Brewmaster is free farming top, and the Bristleback is uncontested on the bottom lane. Since he has that vanguard, Sonics don't really have a hero that can rotate there and, and bring him down quickly. A little bit of an invasion now coming out from FBZ and Skem. Looks like they've got some wards on and dying. We'll run into Fata. Got that charge on the uh, on the Marcy, so 
you are. Gonna back up a little bit. Still wants to farm these camps, and he's gonna get himself a pig pole for his troubles. They have to realize that there's gonna be some vision placed down, so Thata's gonna go make his way back to this top tower, suck some experience, and uh, feels like they wanna make something happen here in the bottom lane, but again, it's very hard considering that you've got that vanguard completed on the bristle. Exo is up in 10 seconds, so they're waiting to for Quinn to get ready here, and he even gets the uh, fair trinket passed over. Mm -hmm. Very nice drop for him. And in five seconds, they're going to try and take this tower. Don't think they're going to wait too much longer. Just going to siege in here. Nice bushwhack off over onto Jackie. There's going to be the TPs coming through. Tim's was waiting off to the side. TP from Yopaj. X marks the spot, dragging Quinn back underneath the tower. He needs some help. He's got to move and he's got to get out of here quickly, but they have that glimpse. We'll bring him right back. That's the second EXO that he has used that hasn't had the maximum effect of what they wanted it to do. It's a disaster for them in the top lane, too. They're putting the pressure over to Plata. We'll force out the TP, but they'll cancel it out using that tornado. This is looking like a dead Marcy. Yeah, completely fine to use that ulti as well, because now he can use his pandas to push. They hit a little bit harder, a lot harder than his hero would. So he can just hit into that tier 1 tower as well. And suddenly he's the one threatening the first tier 1 tower of the game. Uh, but they do bring up Quinn top now. Mind you, does not have Exo anymore. In a lane, pressure on TUR, lands a melt strike over onto Yopaj. The supports are in position already. Gonna try to bring oh the glimpse back over onto you, RMSS. He was trying. Turn around. Can they get the kill over onto Tim's? A little mischance though. Oh no! <gasps> Disaster! Tim's yeah, is gonna be able to you. walk away, oh, and that TA, she used so much, she committed so hard, and she couldn't even take down the disruptor. It's like an unwritten rule, though. Anytime you meld strike uphill, you're gonna miss. A meld hit uphill, it has like a hundred percent chance to miss. It's it's hard coded into the game, I swear. Uh, I want to see the the code from Valve every <laughs> single time. It's a miss. So doesn't get a consolation kill even, and seven zero right now. Terrible start for a side of Sonics. And on the back of this, Boom are even prepping a little bit. There we see the miss right there. Mm -hmm. It's barely on the high ground. Boom are even prepping some stacks for themselves in the jungle. I'm dying with a triple stack now. Smile. Just, uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is feeling real scary now for Sonics because it feels like they're starting to snowball on the side of Boom. And I feel like, you know, Lesla, he's trying his best down here, but he's up against a Bristleback. Like, what is he supposed to do against this hero? He's just going to chew through all the spiders every time he sends them anywhere near him using the, uh, using the quills. And Honestly, just... it's a fantastic counter to Brood. It's so difficult to deal with for Brood Mother. Mid lane now, they're Mid trying to get again. Fata. Yeah, they see Fata, they have the glimpse back into the kinetic field. Yopash is gonna join in, and they're gonna wait patiently. He wants a final hit, but it's still gonna be Scam who gets it. Yeah, they're even killing a lot of stuff here without expending many resources. They didn't use the Undying ulti, the Disruptor, or the Kunkka ulti. All of them had it ready, but not gonna need to use it. Actually, you know, Undying just got his level 6, but... They're, they're holding, you know, efficiency in mind while killing off the support there. 8 and 0 now. 3,000 gold lead. Fantastic start for Boom. They want to represent. They want to represent the seed Dota here at TI. Yeah, I think we're hitting Gaben's mustache shellacking at this point with no kills on the board here for Sonic. He's struggling so hard. Lasal, though, does Maybe. find Tim, so perhaps they can get themselves this kill. And yeah, they'll be able to find it, but in comes Jackie be able to turn right back around with Yopaj joining in. Gonna go pull back on Lesla with the boat, with the torrent. Needs a little bit more and they just don't seem to have it just yet, Jackie though. Running back over here to the lane. As they've got a smoke over here on the side of Sonics. Fata not gonna be able to quite grab. But okay, there it is. There's a nice bushwhack holding into place. The teleports are coming out. The rebound. And the big melt strike here. They've got the exorcism. They want Yopash Skem, though, has teleported in. And they're just having so much difficulty holding them down. FBZ joining in. Twin doesn't want to die again. He's already used this exo several times and hasn't been able to do what he wants. And they're just battering him completely. Dead again Glimpse now at MSS. Oh, a glimpse back over here. He's gonna try to just see if maybe these creeps will help him out, but they will not. Boom is looking absolutely dominating. 
I also like what they're doing over on the side of Bristleback. He saw that fight going down, but he has his priorities. He stays here on the lane, keeps pressuring back, and he's going to be bullying the Broodmother completely here, killing all the spider babies. And uh, he's going to be able to start threatening the tower soon. And his item builds on point too. You go Vanguard straight into Agnims. Don't delay it with something like a hood. Just pick one item and go straight Agnims afterwards. Rebound onto FBZ. There's a nice torrent, but they'll still end up losing the Brewmaster. And that is a kill split between several of them, but still sorely needed either way. Sonic's only Sonic's two kills doubling on the board. Their kills. They would like Yellow yeah. Pash too, but they're going to turn their attention to the mid lane. Fortification is going to come out. You can see here MSS trying to find a good angle. As Lesla also going to join in. And then we try to throw out Jackie. He's here though. The focus over onto Quinn. They just keep focusing this poor man with the soft. A storm, couple more hits, and that's just a dead, dead death prophet. Do finally get the tower though, so that is a, a small shred of hope for the side of Sonics. But it just feels like Quinn, they're targeting him so hard. Yeah, I like it. They're they're doing exactly what you know their draft intended. No free movement. He could not leave the glimpse back, the X mark, the kinetic field. Just hold him in place forever, and finally it goes down. But Quinn is having a horrible game here. He, what, is, what is his net worth? He's 4.9k. It's at 14 minutes. Quinn, usually a very outstanding mid player who can get really farmed, but this game he is not finding a way into it. He's almost like. Almost getting doubled up by the uh, by the Bristol back right now, and Kunka also at 7.2. I do like the way that Leslau played this though. They took the middle tower, and then knowing that Jackie wasn't down here for this time, took advantage of that and used the little spider army to finish off the tier one. So, again, small victories for the side of Sonics. It's still feeling really difficult for them, but they do smoke up. They're gonna have the unleash on Fata. And they're seeing if they can grab. And again, Jackie's a tall order. It's going to be difficult. MSS leading the charge. There's a lot of TPs coming out, though. They're sitting on the high ground. Bushwhack again. The exorcism. Can they finally blow up Jackie? Yes, they can. But they get the split off from FBC. Skem joining into the party. Tim's also in position. As to see all these zombies, all these spiders. A nice static storm, though, again on Quinn. But this time, Quinn, he's got himself the Yule Scepter. But the boat coming in hot. It's going to be able to go land. It lands on Quinn. The X-Men drag back. Fata now looking like he's going to die. MSS, they use the charge on him. He's got the piggy pole. Tries to run away. He's trying to get to some safety over here using the scurry. They're looking for him. Can they they pop the trap. They can't quite see him in time. So he is going to be able to make it out. Well, yeah, the the fight started out pretty well there because they saw the front of uh, of Jackie Jack Boys as he showed himself going down the ramp. So they didn't have to worry about the Bristleback. They also have the Hoodwink Goldie against it anyway. But as he walked down the high ground, it started out as a good fight. But they cannot run away. We see it time and time again. They just cannot leave when Boom are around. Maybe now it's Sonic's mm -hmm. chasing though. They're chasing FBZ. They do see FBZ. They like to grab him. Then expose. Cinder Brew. Quinn wants this revenge. He would like another kill. Good bushwhack here from Hoodwink. And it's going to go over to MSS. Gets himself another kill. Meanwhile, uh, Yawar is off in the jungle somewhere, farming on the other side of the map, just trying to build up. But importantly, we're 200 gold away now for the Aghanims on Bristleback. And once he has that, he evolves as a hero. He becomes a monster. He's going to flash farm very fast, and he'll be very difficult to team fight into. Yeah, that viscous nasal goo with the Agnum Scepter, definitely uh, very, very threatening to have on the map. Going to put a lot more pressure down. Viscous nasal goo just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Oh, very yes. Easy. That nasal goo. Okay, they managed to go and grab Fata, but it's like they're going to get a glimpse back over onto MSS2. So just very hyper-aggressive plays coming out from the side of Boom as they clean up both of the supports on Sonics. And while they do that, they also run top and Bristleback gets the tower. So, very nice moves here by Boom overall. And Sonics, it just feels like they're they're barely allowed to be in this game. They, they have such a small presence. And they're going to play towards later timings. They do have the uh, entire Desolator with Dragonlance for TA now. So, she's hitting a bit of a power spike. But I don't see a way she can teamfight into Kunkka and the Glimpse, the Brewmaster, without BKB. So... She has to keep farming. 
It's about to get a lot more difficult. Like you said, the Agnum Scepter over on Jackie is completed. They're going to get the Aegis online too. He's already just so incredibly difficult to kill. Yeah, that will be uh, that will be them gaining confidence enough to be able to threaten all these tier two towers. Sam's running mid. FBZ sees glimpse. Quinn, gets silence. Your Typhon glimpse back though, right into the arms of FBZ. He drops the right attack. X marks the spot over onto Quinn. They've just been bullying him non-stop. This poor Death Prophet has dropped the Cinder Brew. Fall up with the torrent. She's just toast. Very patient there. Yopashi was faking his torrent over and over, and I thought they would use his Yules earlier on the Death Prophet, but no, he, he held it and uh, lived for longer than expected, but still cannot survive against all this. And nobody was going to help him either. They're like, nope, we're not going to die one by one. I see MSS, they've got the X off. They're going to sidestep a little bit here, but uh, this is looking like a very dead hoodwink. Still managing though, you know, at the end of the day, you are still alive. His supports have been taking a lot of the flak, a lot of the heat from, and he does have the Desolator and the Dragon Lance completed at the very least, but it is still feeling very, very difficult at uphill climb for Sonics. The TPs are going top, they see Fata. Oh, no, another X mark. Another X mark into a boat. They even got themselves an Arcane Rune on this Kunkka, so. It's more than happy to throw that down. They're trying Bristle, he has Aegis. This is quite the, uh, quite the siege after him. He's just continuously throwing out the nasal goo. FPZ, oh though, does get silenced. Jules going to come into play. They've used the exorcism. Nice bushwhack holding FPZ. They'll try to keep him alive with this whole rip. It's long enough so they can turn it back around. They get the split. And they'll throw this TA up into the air. Quinn's going to die yet again. Waiting patiently now for you are. They're crappling all around him as they get a couple of these hits off and he just can't seem to run fast enough because there's all this nasal because there's all this nastiness just being thrown upon him. He will end up dying. Les Lau is going to make it out. No, he's not because they have a place to just stop out that teleport. They have the vision on him. They're going to end up losing Les Lau here too. His skip does have to be a little bit careful. He's getting crunched on, but at the end of the day, they'll be able to kill the broodmother. Boom are just showing up in force here in this tiebreaker and Sonics, that. they don't have any single chance. They're getting completely handled. Even the support undying is like 3, 0 and 15 in this game. Skem having an absolutely fantastic game here. He also has a gem in his hands, so he's checking for high ground wards, dewarding all that he can. And this is just falling apart so rapidly. Dota Plus showing that there's a very high win percentage going over to the side of Boom, but it's not over till it's over. Again, this is an elimination match. You never know what is going to happen. These guys, it's the tiebreaker. They want to stay here. Yeah, Yopash doing some damage on mid. Not going to be getting a kill, but bottom tower is going down to Jack Boys as he's been continuously just hammering away here. Nobody wants to fight the Bristleback right now. Ages or not, I don't think they can fight him straight up. So wherever he goes, they have to just dodge him. And the rest of uh, Boom can just travel as four. They're going to follow him and his lead towards top lane. Yo, Posh, moving forward, has an Invis rune, doing some scouting. They're trying to hold on for their timings. BKB is still long away for TA and it's also the next item for Quinn, but he is also just dreaming about it right now. It's not really that close. They have the gem picked up too here on the side of Boom, so they're able to just rip down any vision that they have on the side of Sonics. It makes it so incredibly terrifying to step out of this base. But they do realize, okay, they're probably going to be playing top around Jackie, so we're going to have to just find some farm here and to their side of the map and just stay out of the way until they come high ground. Yeah, they're getting what farm they can, but Boom are immediately forcing them home here. Look at them. They're not hesitating. They're going up high ground. One minute timing of the ages as well. This is enough for them to go for a barracks here. What can Quinn do? He can throw out a Crypt Swarm. Keep seeing this nasal goo. Does have a double damage bottle, does have the exo, but I'm concerned that it's just not gonna be enough. And MSS doing what he can, will throw out the bushwhack. Silence over to Jackie, so he can't start spewing more of that goo. Courier does end up falling, but they're gonna send some people home here. Get the glimpse back over onto Les Lau. A little bit off the mark though with the static storm. It's not looking great here for Tim's, but there is gonna be a boat coming in. 
And Yopaj will ensure that they can finish cleaning up. And look at the way that Boom is playing here. They're standing on the high ground. So if they feel like it's safe for them to come forward, they will run into the wall of Boom. Tim's having the Shadow Amulet there as well. Just going in this. Looked like maybe he could get a Constellation kill for Broodmother, but nope. Use the Shadow Amulet and then gets the Glimmer Cape delivered as well. Gonna make himself out just fine there. Sonics, they are really in dire straits right now. They do have the TA, the TA BKB almost complete, but the push is coming once again. Tier 2 tower mid, no way to defend this one. Now yeah, this Aegis is gone and I do not think Boom gives a hoot. And the gem again getting the D word. Scam is back, vision has gone. Glimpse back here. All around to MSS. Let's get the bushwhack off. Not gonna be able to quite land the kinetic field, but they do land an X, no problem. This point in click, and it's a dead MSS. Buyback is available if they want to use it, Jackie. Just cleaning up this creep wave here. This yeah, they did the uh, Quinn getting in the mid creep wave there is gonna delay their high ground a little bit because they don't have a creep uh, creep wave with them right now, but mid is coming in. And at the same time, Boom are not necessarily on a timer here. They're not stressing, mm -hmm. but I think they can just go. The creep wave is coming in and Bristleback is feeling very confident. Full BKB as well. I feel like they just don't have the solution to Jackie here. And look at this, Your they just leave him here. Next. They leave him here because they get you are. They've got the X, they got the boat, got the vision on him. Kinetic field gonna come into play. This is looking so bad for you are. He's just dead. He was 70 gold away from the BKB or something like that. He was like 80 gold, 70 gold away from BKB, but he dies again. Absolute despair. Can't get on the map. And now they're gonna run back to a tier 3 tower. Oh boy. That's doing whatever he can with these bushwhacks, just trying to buy a little bit of more time. Protect yeah, they're going for the there. easier tower top. They already prepared it a little bit before. It's also easier because less angles of initiation for Sonics. Not that I am even sure what their initiation would be at this point. It's so difficult. Fada does have that BKB on his Marcy, so he's feeling a little bit ready, but his cores are not up. I also think the physical damage that they can output right now is just too... It, it's not going to really matter that you have the BKB. He'll melt to Yeah. Yeah, Marcy cannot this, okay? sustain. <laughs> Quinn doing whatever he can. Uses the Yule Scepter, but it's still... That's a, it's down to tower. Spots, it does lead forward. Seedless Lao teleporting here to the top portion of this map as uh, was forced to uh, have Tim's go handle with some of these things at home. Yeah, Tim's is just sitting around hoping that the Broodmother is going to show up here, but... Brood already went base, not gonna get caught out down here. But that also means that she's in base now, she can't keep finishing her BKB. She has some spiders farming a little bit, but they're gonna die now. So he is 400 gold away. TA does have her BKB, okay, so you are finally ready. It's gonna be enough, that was a question. They don't have Quinn, 100 gold away. So patiently, they'll drop the tombstone. Fata, though, just rebounds out. So far, seeing if he can get a grab on anyone. ZX off over onto Yuar. Again, does have that BKB. Yules is going to get used. They hold Jackie over onto the tree with the pushback. Big silence getting dropped over onto multiple, but just uh, very reluctant to go forward on the side of Sonics, even though they do have these BKBs. They realize that they need some more time. They need to have the perfect initiation because Boom is just looking so terrifying. Yeah, they also don't have all the BKBs. I mean, it's That's crucial true. that the Death Prophet has her uh, BKB as well in these engagements. I'm almost surprised he didn't try to sell his uh, his bottle or sell something for it. Static Storm over onto MSS and will be able to get the hit over onto Yawar. BKB is going to get used. They'll lose MSS and they're not going to be able to get their hands on Yuar. Does manage to teleport away using the BKB, but that is not how you want to be using this if you're Sonics. Yeah, very clear intention here, but boom, they're not going to stress with the high ground. They did push uh, a little bit with the with the Brulings there, but they're going to back up control Roche area and make it very difficult here for Sonics to come back into game. They should be smoking up now, though. They should be looking for an engagement. Easy. Sitting over in the... Oh, all the spiders giving them all the information now. See how fast Quinn though, he's already been X. They have a ward in place. 
right there. It does have the BKB. Is he going to be able to use it, though, is the question. Is taking a lot of damage? All right, yes, he's going to turn back around. Drop the Wraith Pact over on the side of Boom. And they're going to just back off. Will BKB used as well? They, they poked out two of the BKBs there. That's, That's huge. really sad. They don't, don't have a TA BKB as well. I think Boom want to stay disciplined, though. This is elimination at TI. There is a chance for them to go in right now, but they also know that how are Sonics ever going to contest this next Roshan? So they just wait, play around Roche. If they get this Aegis, that should seal them the victory in this first game in the three-way tiebreaker. So eh? Flash popping his own BKB. Dancing around a little bit. All right, they'll use the Exorcism. Silence gets dropped. They need some way of holding them down, though, and everybody's just moving away. Big boat coming into play here. Spata, is he going to be able to survive this? He's going to get blown up as the BKBs are popped. Jackie just running after Quinn. He does too much damage. Now he's going to face off here with you. Are you are? Is he going to be making it? Oh, it's a beautiful save coming out from MSS. Going to allow you are to live, but he will end up dying for his core. And now they can go. They don't need any Roche when three heroes are dead. Straight into the base. Bristleback is going in. Clear intentions here. Want the racks. Creep wave is coming soon. Backdoor protection will go down. You see the desperation of Les Lau. He's like, I, I, I don't, I guess I'll just throw this at you. I don't know what to do. I can't go close to this. I'm gonna die. You just do whatever you can. That's all you can do. There, there's not much they can hold against uh, this Bristleback force, though. He's so strong. He is incredibly strong, even stronger with a Satanic now. All right, Death Prophet's gonna be back up in a couple seconds. Doesn't have the Exorcism though. I feel like none of these Exorcisms just went the way of Sonics. And Not a single one, no. Every single Exorcism has been tragic in one way or another. Either he's been running after people or he's just been killed immediately under a tower. It's It's been very, very difficult for him. And at this stage, he's 9,000 net worth against a 19,000 net worth Bristleback. Mm -hmm. So if you pop that Exo, I think the Bristleback is just gonna laugh at you. I think he will run at you and punch you. <laughs> I mean, that's what he's been doing the entire time, so that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, there's no way that they can contest this Roche here. It's going down way too fast between all the negative armor from Jackie. Yo, Podge just clicking away. They smoked up around them just in case they try to make anything cute here, as Fata does grab up three bounty rings, which is nice, but there it is. We've got the shard, we've got a hairball on Jackie now. Oh, no, Quinn. We've got run. an Aegis. Quinn having to pop the BKB. Luckily, they don't have any way of canceling that at this time, but they don't seem to care. They're like, all right, go home. We'll meet you there. Yeah, Quinn has X mark keeping. He's going to clean up the, the base here. He's going to kill the next creep wave easily. They are trying to split push, but... I don't think they win uh, this. Even though they push fast, I think Bristleback is quicker. He's got 500 damage. I would definitely say that. They move a lot faster. Fortifications have been used, though. Take the tower. So they're going to be measured. They're going to go after the racks. They back off a little bit here. See Tim's? Looking to see. He's got the vision on you, War. Immediately, though, gonna dodge away. Gets a glimpse back over onto Fata. War is pretty deep here, though. Throw out that kinetic field. We'll hold him into place. In comes FBZ. Wants to punish him for being here. We'll pop the BKB, though. Then he's gonna teleport out. Safe TP out. I mean, he did extend the game a little bit more, but now they know he doesn't have BKB, so if they push out bottom and then go straight mid, they have to take the fight without it. So he held them in the game, bought a little bit of time, but it feels inevitable. What Boom have going, it's gonna come and hit you soon. They do have a courier over here. It's Quinn's courier sitting over by the secret shop. BZ he wants a plate mail, away. yeah. He wants to try and tank up a little bit so he doesn't just die immediately. See the drain, but look at Jackie. He does not care. Throwing out the hairballs, throwing out the snot. This guy is uh, a biohazard and a half. That Certainly a hazard to this base. Oh my god, yeah. Again, this guy is so powerful. I don't even think they can take him down once. They're gonna have to try. This is it. They this smoke it. up. I don't know how, but you this gotta try go. something, boys. You gotta make it happen. Quinn already, though. Look at these hits that just come out. Jackie turning his back to them. Big silence. Fata jumping onto the back lines. The boats come through, but look at this damage, okay? Go with the rebound off the dispose. War. 
standing a bit far back, but Jack just keeps running back and realizes that Fata is just bleeding. Blood in the water. X marks the spot. Glimpse coming into place. They just, they called it. Sonic's realizing that there's no need to prolong this any longer. They call GG. Boom! Has made it through the first step here and staying in the TI-11. Yeah, so we're gonna have Boom versus Bet Boom as the next matchup here. This is the round robin three-way tie in the group stage of TI. And Sonics have, you know, a slight hope, I suppose, if Boom now lose to Bet Boom, uh,